Hi, Jeff McPike from Veteran Overland here, and we are excited to share with you our newest product, the RFAC. Okay, the RFAC, or Rig First Aid Kit, as we are calling it. Years in design and thought, we can finally bring this product to you. We partnered with Last US Bag Company on the design of the bag and the operational principles of how it works and North America Rescue is providing and advised on all of the contents inside. Our take on this piece of kit, which we think everybody should carry, <clears throat> had two principles of design. The uh, first aid kits that are out there today did not have a couple of components that we desperately wanted. First, uh, the, the things that we were trained on in the military, more specifically convoy operations and a combat zone, always dictated that you have your first aid kit <clears throat> within reach of the driver's seat in case of rollover. Uh, second, we're always in our rigs, and how can this, com how can this first aid kit uh, be used within our rigs, and how can it be mounted easily uh, for use? And then lastly, uh, whether you need an IFAC, whether you have family, uh, however other, what other, other components uh, of your need of a first aid kit, this is modular and can be adapted to those uses. Let's get into the operational design. So this is mounted on Molly. Um, there's Molly mounts on the back. Uh, this is currently mounted on a 511 panel with some Condor straps. You can use anything that you want uh, to mount it anywhere in your vehicle that you want. It has a clearly um, labeled tourniquet mount on the side here. And on this side has a small pack, uh, pouch, which we currently have an emergency blanket in. Uh, there is full Velcro here, Velcro panel uh, as well along the top where you can mount either a large red cross or anything that you want, as well as some uh, additional Molly straps and a Sharpie for writing time and uh, information on your tourniquet and otherwise. And then <coughs> it is meant to completely unzip and roll down the back of your seat and open up. So this design was created this way in knowing and understanding that you may want it to stay uh, in its place if you just need something quick, something for uh, your kids or otherwise. Inside the bag, starting on the sides, here you have your trauma shears, North America Rescue trauma shears, and this pocket here. Over here you have an instant cold pack, uh, necessary with families and otherwise. In here you have um, a tool pouch to include some tweezers. And then up at the top, here you have a, a great roll uh, with tape, roll of tape, where you can pull on, cut, one hand usage. At the top here, you have burn tech first aid, five by five. You have a mollable uh, SAM splint. North America Rescue dressing, trauma dressing. In this pocket here, you have multiple all-purpose sponges, as well as a combine pad. And then North America Rescue also provides a CPR and basic first aid kit. Moving down the kit, <clears throat> personal protection. There's two um, gloves here for use, as well as two triangle bandages for multi-use, um, broken arm, so on and so forth. And then as you continue down the kit, we have these patches, these pouches that open up like this. And then in here, you can customize it how you want. On this side, we have multiple band-aids, uh, more snivel gear here. We have butterfly bandages, as well as some more regular band-aids in this pocket. And the center pocket is pretty open. There's lots of room for additional things. We have two eye pouches and a prep razor. Uh, and it is meant for you to customize this way you want or put more or less items in here. As you continue over to this side, this pocket, you, it comes with multiple hand sanitizers. 
good for use and cleanup, as well as triple antibiotic, sting relief, as well as alcohol wipes. wanted it to lay flat on uh, the ground next to uh, whoever you may be uh, working on. All right, lastly, there is no silver bullet to a first aid kit. Uh, everybody has an opinion on a first aid kit, what it should have, what it shouldn't have. This kit is made to give you the base of what is needed for overland travel, camping, families, uh, whatever application you'll do via overlanding, but also has the room to expand, has additional pockets for you to put what you would like in it. So. Uh, North America Rescue and we have provided what we think is the minimum base for a really great bag. We encourage you to customize this, change uh, the way that you want to utilize it and or the contents that are inside. And lastly, please, please do not use this without proper training. So with that, <clears throat> this is the Veteran Overland RFAC. Uh, we hope you enjoy it as much as we do and use it safely. Thanks.